Hello everybody, I am here to show you a 5x5 five five door. Um, I'm kind of recording this video in the middle of the day. I hope the quality is a little bit better. I set up the camera in a different angle and I hope it looks like, you know, it's just a good, good amount of quality. So, yeah. Let's get this started. So, the 5x5, five five, it's big, I can say that. But it's also small for the ones I've made. Um, the ones I've made, they usually go six past. Yes, I'm not lying. Six past the pistons here, and five past the pistons here. But this only goes four past the pistons here. Um, the bottom pistons and three past the pistons. So yeah, it's pretty compact. Um, could be made smaller though. I can cut this layer off. And it could be made smaller that way, but I was too lazy to do that. But yeah. Let's say this layer is cut off, yes? Well, not really, because it's not cut off. But yeah. I'm probably going to do the math after. I don't really feel like doing the math anyway. So yeah, let's just get into the door. Let's destroy the oven. So here's the door. It's really fast, actually. Well, closing. Opening's decent. So yeah, that's opening, and well, I think opening's decent, I guess. Um, I use a different setup than most people would. Um, I'll show you the setup. Okay. So the setup to this door, uh -oh. I also need some torches and redstone. And I hope you guys can see my inventory a little bit better, because I saw in another video I had some wear. So, yeah. So, the setup in this door, for me at least, is usually it would be three pistons, like right here. Okay. And then they would have the, the pistons right here with the wall box. Right. And then they'd have one layer, I mean two layers of pistons on the sides, pushing the blocks in the sides. I find that set up harder, honestly, really hard, um, because I have to find a way to power these pistons, and I'm lazy, so I don't want to do that. In addition to that, you have to do the top and make it a six tall. I hope you guys can see alright. Looks like you guys can see good. Because I'm looking at the video right now. So. There we go. Yeah. And, whoops, the storage piston would be on this side. So that was, that's the regular setup most people use, and some people just use the top and the bottom just full. Like you'd have this right here, but it'd go all the way through. Like that's basically all that'd be it. Um, yeah, those are the two most popular setups, but my setup is probably the different, the most different one. So what I did is I cut out this, I put, and I added a layer here. Also, I added a layer here. Mm, as you can see in the store, I did do that. Can't really see most of it, but yeah. I am using a texture pack. It is Code Crafted's texture pack. So yeah, go use it. It's cool. You'll find it on the forums. Just type it up in your computer. Minecraft forums. Okay. So, now we need, well, yeah, that's really it. So that's my setup here, and that's what I used with the door. Um, I didn't really use anything else. 
and I tried to make this on a multiplayer server, but they're buggy, like, it's a bucket, that doesn't really like it. I could get it to work, but it had to change a lot of timings and totally review the top. So yeah, I'm probably going to come out with a multiplayer fix if I'm not lazy enough. Well, it, well yeah, if I'm not lazy enough, if I'm active enough to do it. Other than that, I don't think anything's happening with this. So yeah. That's really it for that. Yeah. I can go into a little bit of an explanation for this, but not for long. So, the bottom closing is basically the bottom opening. But, the bottom opening is, I'll actually highlight it. is this part right here. So, um, I'm gonna highlight it on camera because I need to talk about some stuff too. Hmm, what I wanted to talk about is that I'm not uploading a lot and that's because I have school and school's going on right now. And school takes up a lot of time and my friends really aren't over it anymore because, you know, changes in life. So, I can't really upload it a lot because I don't have a lot of opportunities to. But if I get, if I find an opportunity to upload, I will. So, my schedule is going to be hopefully at least one video a week. And that's really it. That seems really, really slow, and especially for me. Because I used to, up, like, once I uploaded, like, I don't even know, like, a lot of videos in one day. Like, six or seven videos in one day. And that's what I usually do. Because I'm trying to get every, uh, some videos out there for you guys now. I have 27 subscribers. Um, I really am thinking of you guys so much. that That's awesome that you guys like my videos and subscribe to me. And I'm also really thinking about getting um, a screen recorder but I know with screen recorders I need a mic and with a mic uh, a bunch more activity has to be on and I'd have to my room would be like a recording studio and I don't want to think my parents think that I'm on the computer 24 7 if you know what I mean so yeah let me um yeah, that's really all um, that. Oh yeah, I also, um, my camera broke for a bit. That's why I went like a month or two, I think. Or something like that without uploading. I'm sorry about that. I think I got, went like two weeks or something without uploading and that really sucked. I bet you guys were waiting for me to post videos. Um, but yeah, I couldn't because I didn't have a working recording thing. So yeah, and like, yeah, I don't really want to go much into it because it was really, really stressful um, what happened and I don't want to tell a story about it because it just kind of sucks. So I think that goes on. So, I'm almost done here. Perfect. And I think that's all the opening there is. Oh, let's get this part in here, sure. So, yeah. That, this here is all the opening for the bottom. And, yeah. It's quite a lot. But, you know. It's only the bottom part at the bottom, so. Mm -hmm. Now let's go. Yeah. So, as you can see, the bottom just did the closing. Oh. Whoops. Whoops, it is. I believe I need a repeater each here. Yes. Sorry about 
that. And yeah, but the bottom basically just did the closing. Like you can see, the closing is really quick. But you can see that, <laughs> look. Yeah, there it is right there. And that's the closing. And the top's basically all different, except that you uses the extending circuit like it does right here. It reuses that circuit as you can see right here. But it doesn't retract it the one time and then have the pistons push it over. And I use that by making a toggle kind of thing. I'm gonna highlight it right here. It's this it's these three pistons right here blocks on them. So that's a toggle. And what basically does is the first time it just pushes the block up. And the signal goes through and then the second time um this is a risking of bud but I don't really care about it. The second time it goes oh, it goes it doesn't go through. Also the first time this triggers this thingy I guess. I don't know why I have that piece of work somewhere. It triggers this pusher, I guess. I don't really know what to call it. Um, this can also be glass. It doesn't have to be a solid block. Um, there we go. But I guess dirt would be cheaper <laughs> than glass. Well, really, dirt's cheaper than new block. So, yeah, that can be glass too. So, yeah, I guess that's really it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like if you like this video please leave a like if you like this video and want to see more of these videos please subscribe and finally of course if you want to see something about this video comment i have a video right there and yeah i hope you enjoyed and see you guys later bye